Hello, good morning again, and welcome to our class. Our discussion for today is all about presentation, analysis, and interpretation of data. Our lesson's objectives are to understand the difference between presentation, analysis, and interpretation of data gathered. Also, to effectively present the gathered data through graphs, tables, and figures, and analyzing and interpreting the data gathered. Let us first define what is presentation. Presentation of data refers to the organization of data into tables, graphs, or charts so that that logical and statistical conclusion can be derived from the collected data. Data may be presented in three methods. It could be textual, it could be tabular, and finally, it could be graphical. So first one is textual presentation. In textual presentation, the data gathered are presented in paragraph form. Also, the data are written and read. It is a combination of texts and numbers. So an example is this one. Of the 150 sample interviewed, the following complaints were noted. 27 for lack of books in the library, 25 for a dirty playground, 20 for lack of laboratory equipment, 17 for a not well-maintained university buildings. So this is an example of textual presentation of data. So it is in a paragraph form and it is just written and being read and it is a combination of text and numbers. Okay. So let us move now to the tabular presentation. In tabular presentation, method of present it is a method of presenting data using statistic statistical table. It is a systematic organization of data in columns and rows. So this is an illustration or example of a tabular presentation. I am sure that uh, we are all familiar with the tabular presentation. So we have the table heading, the body, the stubs, and um footnote or of source of data so here um, we have the table heading for month year and sales also we have the body uh, combination of text and numbers and also we have the source of data okay so this is an example of a tabular data with columns and rows so the third one is graphical presentation. It is a chart representing data in pictorial or diagrammatic form. So we have different types of graphs and charts. So we have the bar graphs, linear graphs, pie graphs, pictograms, statistical maps, and ratio charts. So to illustrate the types of graphs and charts, we have the bar graph. It looks like this. A linear graph or line graph a pie graph in circular form, pictogram with some pictures in it, a statistical map, so most of the time it is a map that um, includes some information like population, some um, harvest amount, something like that. And lastly, a ratio chart. A ratio chart uh, includes two different um, kind of data. So here, we have two kinds of data, the green one and the darker one. So the purpose of ratio chart is to compare these two, these two uh, data sets. So let us go now to the analysis of data. Data analysis is a process of transforming a data to discover useful information and to form conclusions. We use a, statist we use a statistical treatment in this process. So to be able to analyze data, we use some statistical processes like um, central tendency, mean, mode, median. Also, we can use some percentage or we can use some advanced statistical treatment like t-test, p-test, 
analysis of variance and chi square test. So in this uh, part, we use the statistical treatment that we studied uh, last week. And finally, we have the interpretation. In data interpretation, uh, it is the process of making sense out of a collection of data that has been processed. So since uh, we have this data that we collected, what do the results of the study mean? This part is perhaps the most critical aspect of research report. And this will constitute the overall conclusion of your study. So your study will rely on the interpretation of the gathered data so does the does the data supports or go against your hypothesis something like that so i'm hoping that that makes sense because uh, the interpretation of data is being done by the researcher uh, basing his conclusion on the gathered data okay so the keywords in interpreting data are as follows so for example, table blank presents the, another is a uh, table blank indicates the, so it also could be as reflected in the table, there was blank, something like that. As observed, there was indeed, uh, the illustrative graph above or below shows that, and it also uh, can be, in explaining this result, it can be stated that. So these are the keywords we use in, in interpreting data. So this is an example of a uh, presentation analysis and interpretation of data. So we can see here that the interpretation is in a tabular form. We have a table. So we have sex and frequency. Also, the analysis is in terms of percentage. So we just uh, get the percentage of male versus female here. And the interpretation is here below. So it shows that the frequency distribution of respondents' gender, it illustrates that we are, uh, that there are more female respondents, which are 82 or 75.23% than male, which are 27 or 24.77%. So this is an example of combination of presentation analysis and interpretation of data. Okay. So I'm hoping that uh, this is easy enough for us. So we have some notes here. So the interpretation of data should always be written below the table with the same label as the table title. Okay, so the interpretation is always below the table. It uh, should not go above the table, only below, okay? And the interpretation and table should not be written on a separate sheet. So as much as possible, we write them or type them in the same sheet so that uh, the reader can understand the table clearly 